Hello, and welcome to another first vision novel. Me, Game of 6 of Great Troubles. A game where I think you're going from countryside to school, but then a great trouble happens. I read that it's two hours long, so I might do an entire let's play of it. So let me read the synopsis, and I stupidly I clicked it off. Oh, it's right right here. <clears throat> At the beginning of the second semester, a new student from the countryside is transferred to a famous city school. School days promised to be an inter interesting and fun, but something went wrong. Hmm. Oh, and where do you get this game? Surprisingly, not with HIO or Patreon, as most are. The only place I found it was on for Fendi. It was posted seven years ago. But it has a cute guy in it. Gotta love Twinks. I think that's pretty much it. Produced in 2015? Yeah. So, I guess we reset my face. And clear my throat. Sorry, it do be like that sometimes. And start. Wait, cinematic? I don't remember where I'm going. My legs, nowhere to go. That's not for me. Here's the door I need. That's a weird door. I'm on the spot. Holiday mood is all around me. I hear friends laugh. They are you, trying to unload easy jobs onto someone else. I feel uncomfortable and safe, and I want to stay here as long as possible. We're comfortable. Except the bits and pieces of conversation players, I don't listen to them in that moment. I focus the only thing that voice that actually matters. Gotcha, Scott. Suddenly, the walls around me dissolve, and I find myself in total darkness. I hear water splashing chaotic fur as someone is trapped in it. I can't read that fast. And can't get out. I'm horrified. Sickness is choking me. I want to run away, but I see no way out. I see nothing but dazzling flashlight, which doesn't relieve my panic. Run. Run now. The words behind me make me shudder. I hear this, this voice. I can't understand what he's telling me. What's going on? When will it end? I'm scared. I don't want to be here. Legs, move, please. Something's wrong. It's so wrong that my thoughts, but I escape into spirit. Someone is calling me. Someone is waiting for me. But if I if I don't go there at all, and then I may even die. I turn around and run right to the splashed water. Splashed water? I made the right choice, didn't I? That's an interesting intro. I guess furry novels do tend to do something like that sometimes. Though the cinematic is actually quite interesting. I can't think of the last time I've seen one. I mean, maybe Nekojishi? Man, I wish they made that into an anime. Like, seriously. If all these animes about reincarnated in another world is something else or the more powerful thing, you don't have... Being a Taiwanese guy who sees foeys? Shameful. Anyways, what's making that nasty squeaking noise? Ah, it's my mobile phone. It's rather late. Crap. I have class today. Wait, where am I? It doesn't look like home. Way more spacious. And it's so tidy. I should look around. I'm starting to remember. Campus. I came here late after midnight. I didn't even start to unpack my things. I have to do this after class, or I'll have to. I don't want to be late for my very first day. The opposite bed looks so neat, but someone slept on it last night. I'm sure of it. What's this on the nightstand? Some kind of brochure? If this isn't mine, it's a new school guide. Wait, is it a new school guidebook? Perhaps my roommate left it here. I should thank him later. Read brochure. Uh, leave on bed's a table, take it. Eh, let's read it. Hopefully it won't make us late. Hmm. 
It's a plan of the whole building. School, park, boys, girls, school building, sports, arts and crafts, bonkers eight school. Plan of the whole building. Lucky me. Now, I won't get lost for sure. This place is quite nice, and those are weird shrubberies. It reminds me of where I grew up. The weather is nice too. Dang it, I forgot to call back home. I should have said everything's alright. And mom didn't call. If she was worried, she would have definitely called me. And if she ever... As if she's ever been interested in my life. Oof. How am I thinking about it anyway? I'm not a little boy anymore. It's 100% normal. I'm not being looked after. Cheer up. It's your fifth day of new school after all. It would be so uncool to arrive with a sour face. I should hurry up. Just in time. Twinks. Hi. You must be Scott, right? Find your way around, okay? A golden retriever approaches me. They're approached. He looks like a high school student just like me. But who is he? How does he know me? Hi. Sorry, do we know each other? No. Oh, I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Vincent. We're in the same class now. He seems rather friendly. I mean, he is a golden retriever. Nice to meet you. I'm so glad you enter our school. It's really great school. You know, some say it's not all good, but you shouldn't believe everything you hear. Teachers are great, and the level of education as a whole isn't worse than in some private schools. But you know what's the most amazing thing is? Study groups. If you want to get into extracurricular activities, this is the place just for you. Sport clubs, science circles, art societies. There's something for everyone. And they're also fun. Personally, I'm a member of the journalism club. Come see us someday. You can work at whatever you like until late, but don't forget about your classes either. If you need anything, just ask me. I'm always here for you. Ooh, I almost forgot, I'm the class rep. So don't be shy, ask me anything you want to know. The class rep? No wonder he knows me. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. He's a nice fellow, despite the fact he is a dog. Whoa, what a beauty. What's up with the saxophone? Wait, this is supposed to be Yaoi, right? Is he bisexual or something? I mean wood, but still. I love big cities. Yeah, sure, big cities. Dear God, please, let her be my classmate. Oh, we got carried away. But that's okay. We'll just be... We'll be just in time. Mr. Bear really shows up early. What did I tell you? We were just in time. See an empty desk beside the window? That one's yours. I'll show you around after class, okay? Okay, thank you. There's a hell of a lot of people here. There were just 12 of us in my previous class. I hope we'll all be friends. I took a seat at my desk and looked toward the friendly class, only to recognize a sea of purple hair. A sea of purple hair? Or just one? The girl from before sits right in front of me. God, you do exist. The girl from earlier sits right in front of me. Life is returning back to normal. Here comes the teacher. Hello, everyone. Let's open our books. He smiles so shyly. Or sly? S slyly? I wasn't la uh, late this time. So, page 116. Mr. Bennett, would you like to be the first to answer? Um, we have a new student. I did not forget about him. Hmm, I bet you did. Attention, please. 
class, we have a freshman today. Please welcome our new student. Would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, so formal. My name is Scott Fletcher. I'm glad to be your classmate. So wait, is he? I mean, this whole aesthetic seems kind of Japanese-y, but it's made by a Russian person, I think. But Fletcher is definitely an English name. And by English, I mean British. I hope we'll get along. Scott has recently moved to our city, so please show him the hospitable Los. How hospitable Los Angeles can be. Okay, I picked three places, and that was none of them. My classmates start talking to each other in hush whispers. Now, oh, granted, I haven't been to a Los Angeles school. My class, yeah, sorry. Uh, I hope I don't look like a redneck, which I surely am. And now, look at your textbook on page. And that's how my first day at school ended. In fact, the same thing goes as before. But I helped that. But it helps that beauty. But I helped that beauty when she dropped her eraser. Her thank you sounded so sweet. Maybe she likes me too. Hey, buddy, I promise to show you around our school. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. By the way, just name the girl that sits in front of me. Just in case, I. Just in case, I'll have to ask her something in class. I mean, I wouldn't want to be rude. What a great conspiracy. Quite obviously, this is not why I'm asking. It's Sam. I mean, it's Samantha. She doesn't like being called Sam. Samantha. Sounds gorgeous. She'll be my waifu. Vince told me a lot about the school. He was so enthusiastic that I hardly remembered anything. Can we roll back? He was so enthusiastic that he heart. I don't know. Also, ah, pointer. We walked through the floors at the schoolyard. All the floors and the schoolyard. It's huge. It's gotta be at least four times as big as my last school. It has its own stadium and even a swim pool. Thinking about the pools gives me shivers. I, I don't like water. I guess I had another nightmare about it last night, but I can barely remember it now. Well, something like this. Do you want to see anything else? No thanks, I'm done for today. My head is about to explode. It really does feel that way. There's so much to take in. Okay, I have to go now. Do you remember how to get back to the campus? Does he know about my complete lack of sense of direction too? Yes. It wouldn't be so bad to get lost in the park though. It's uh, wonderful there. It's rather cold here, so don't get lost. Should I return to my room and unpack all my stuff? It could hurt to have one more look around though. Mm, we could unpack later. Let's take a walk around the schools. Looks like everyone else is left for the day. I wonder what the teachers in these classes are like. Vincent said there are some rooms for study groups and clubs. What's going on in there? Wait, who's that running around? And why is everyone else just standing around and watching? It doesn't look fun at all. A mouse boy in green sweater is walking towards me at a brief pace. He's looking frantically around at the floor. You must have dropped something. Are you looking for something? I guess glasses. He's so nervous. Is everything all right? I'm not looking for anything. My mind's my own biz business. That's weird. Are you sure everything's fine? I told you. I, I just nothing. I'm doing nothing. Weird fellow. Well, if you're really doing nothing, then... He walks right past me without another word, still looking around the floor of the hall. I have my mouth to say something else, but a large paw clasped down on my shoulder. It's a hyena. Forget something, kitty? I don't remember your pretty face. What class are you in again? Is he talking to me? 
I thought that guy needed help, but I was wrong. I'm Scott. I'm new here. I'm Greg. And if I'm talking to you, you can be sure it's a big ass trouble. You're in big ass trouble. I. This dude is so creepy. These pe people who are standing near him left, whispering. Looks like I ran into some kind of bully. Is there something wrong? Yeah, you're something wrong here. But I'll forgive you because you're new here, just this once. I won't be so nice next time. His mobile phone rings. Some weird music. <laughs> Playing some awful heavy metal guitar riff. He released my shoulder to answer it. I'll be there in a minute. He turns and walks away, and the rest of his group falls behind him. What on earth was that? I wish I knew how to act around those kinds of a-holes. Well, he's a dog, of course. Oh, was he an African wild dog? This is more like... Uh, this is more like your average dog. Are you sure you're alright? Does that guy bother you? No! Just leave me alone. It doesn't look that... Okay at all. So why is he denying it? Look, I just want to help you. He gazes at himself. He seems to be so glad nobody's around. I... I lost something. If you have time. I knew he was looking for something. What did you lose? My inhaler. Do you remember where you lost it exactly? Which classes did you have it today? N not long ago. I mean, I don't remember. All of them? All of them? Is that even possible? I doubt he can tell me anything else, though. Well, let's look for it, then. I'll go this way. I'll meet you back here in ten minutes. I have looked almost everywhere on the floor and haven't found anything. Most of the classrooms are locked at for the night. I hope he didn't leave his inhaler in one of them. If he did, maybe someone had, maybe someone have found it, and brought it to the principal's office. Eh, grammar, but it do be like that. This game is seven years old, so it might not even, you know. In that case, they should have reported it. It's no use thinking about it. I should keep searching. This guy must have already searched lower floors. He isn't even paying attention. He could have overlooked it easily. This isn't exactly how I imagined my first day at school. But I would be glad if I could help him. What is this shiny thing down there? Here it is. Honestly, I don't think he would have lost in a place like this. He found it. It was in a flower pot. Flower pots are in the dirty places to lose an inhaler. I don't think he left it in there. It isn't what you think. He becomes nervous. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. It's just awkward. It do be like that. Thank you. I should go home now. My mom is probably worried about me. Wait. Tell me what happened. Are you being bullied? If so, you shouldn't stay silent. I'm not being bullied. Please, leave me be. I should go. Before I can say anything else, he turns and scampers away. Something is definitely wrong here. Should I leave it like this? If I get involved, I might make things even worse. Should I just let it run by itself? No, I can't do that. Hmm. Well, that's probably going to be pointless, because here's the thing I remember about schools. Even though I'm a muscular guy right now, and somewhat scary, I don't know. Oh yeah, me being all scary -y. Um, I used to be bullied as a kid. It, I was gonna say, I, I hated it. I was like, oh, of course. But the thing I hated probably even more was the fact that a lot of teachers would be like, um, well, ignore it, or something like that. You know, useless advice. The one I always hated, which I think I remember them saying is nobody likes a tattletale. How about I strangle them and be like, nobody likes tattletale. Because I just hate people like that. That are like, 
Nobody... Eh, I don't know. Both situations. The Antonio Principle is probably useless. The class president might... Damn it, I'm gonna have to censor that. I didn't... Doing S, it's like, hey, we're gonna save it to your desktop. And it's like, thanks for showing my name. What we should do to the student council president? Because he might be able to know. There's no need to bother the principal. But the president of the student council sure should know about it. Boy, this is a fancy room. As I walk into the office, I see a massive bull with huge muscles standing in front of the desk, putting on jacket. Whoa, president is so big and scary. There shouldn't be any problem with discipline here. But if I just saw someone being bullied, that isn't the case now, is it? What was the question? Hello, can I speak to you, Mr. President? Oh, I thought it, it was the, um... Labrador guy. Yes, I'm listening. The bull steps aside, revealing the source of the voice, still sitting in at the desk behind him. Wait, the Senate guy is the president? He doesn't even look like a high school student. My name is Scott Fletcher. I'm Adam Lester. Nice to meet you. I have recently witnessed a situation. I don't know neither name, nor what class that scare guy with the inhaler's in. One student said he lost an, a an inhaler and we were looking for it together. We found it in a flower pot. The inhaler was really dirty. It didn't look like he had actually just lost it. Also, this gray guy told me not to stick my nose into his business. I guess he's the one to blame for what happened. Is that so? Thank you for your information. We'll take this situation seriously. I'm sorry, I don't even know what class they're in. Never mind. I know this Greg you're talking about. So this means Greg really is a bully. It's good I came here. Now, he will be punished according to the rules. Thank you in advance. Don't mention it. I should be thanking you. I didn't expect something like this on the very first day. I hope it will get better. The president said he'll handle the situation. Good. But I'm not going to just leave it all to him. I should have found more information about Greg and that scared guy. At least school is nice. Samantha from my class is also nice. Just perfect. I should speak with her tomorrow. And our class rep is so friendly. It's good to have someone to chat with during the break. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to make friends with someone else. Gosh, I completely forgot to call back home. No answer. She might be busy. I'll call her tomorrow, after class. My roommate still hasn't come back. Does he even return to the dorms to sleep? He, well, he's busy shagging. Are we in college or high school? Anyways. Is that the only reason he turns to campus? I don't know why nobody decided to help that guy. Uh, there were other students there. They were standing off to the side, whispering to each other. Are they Greg's cronies? Or are they just scared of him that they don't do anything? Is Greg even the guy I should be blaming in the first place? What should I do? I should get some sleep. Tomorrow will be a new day, and I'll be able to think it over with a clear head. It's quite late already, and I haven't unpacked bag yet. I can, s I can do this tomorrow. Hello again. You're still awake? Wonderful. Vincent! Uh, didn't I mention we're roommates? And that's how he recognized my face. I thought he saw my ID or something like that. Sorry, I didn't want to bother you in the morning. I get up early. But maybe I should make uh, wake you up tomorrow. No, it's fine. I'm glad he's my roommate. I don't have to worry about that anymore. You left me a brochure with a school map, right? Thank you. You're welcome. 
I was just worried that you couldn't find your way around. Do I look that hopeless? I feel sleepy. Yeah, talk to him some more. I want to talk with the class rep a little more. And what about you? How long have you been living here? Almost five years. And before this, I have attended school in another city. Five years on campus sounds like forever. He must miss his family very much. He must know everything about this place. Pretty much. You know, sometimes they arrange some kind of activity here, in campus, and that can be rather entertaining. Our classmates are also quite friendly. There are two things in wings in the campus. One for boys, and one for girls. The boys take the wrong turn from time to time. The RAs throw them out with so much noise. That's very funny. Unless you're trying to sleep, of course. Campus also has its leads. High school students, a boy and a girl. Are you the head of the boy side? What makes you think that? No, that's prohibited. Too much responsibility, or something like that. So it's like, teachers? Well, I'm not complaining. I'm perfectly fine with all the responsibilities I already have. Speaking of campus, Samantha lives here too. <gasps> My waifu. The girl who sits in front of me during classes. I remember, or sits in front of you. The girl who sits in front of during classes. He fell silent, and I thought, By the way, why were you so. Why were you transferred to our school just now? That usually happens at the beginning of the school year. Should I tell the truth? He doesn't seem to be a bad guy, though. Okay. My mom remarried, and she moved in with her new husband. into her new husband's house. Plus, they have a baby daughter together, so. time for me to start living an independent life. I see. Do you like her new husband? Why does he look so sympathetic? He seems okay, but a little bit arrogant. No wonder he's a di- Crap. Almost said that because he's a dog. I shouldn't discriminate the dogs, especially since the, my monitor is one of them. That's fine. I just don't want to feel like I'm not wanted in my mom's new family. That doesn't sound very optimistic. At least I hope you'll be comfortable in your new home. If you need anything, I'm always here to help. Me either. By the way, something happened at school after you left. When you left, I had another walk around and ran into a guy who had lost his inhaler. In fact, I'm 100% sure. But it seemed like someone took his inhaler and threw it away. I'm not 100% sure. I found it in a flower pot. A dog to Greg, too. He's such a... pain. Do you know him? He wasn't pleased with the fact that I decided to help that poor guy. Do you think I should do something about it? Oh, I know Greg. He's two years older than us. Unpleasant kind of guy. It sounds like you got the right idea. Maybe you should speak to the victim first? And I'll talk to Greg. I had to make sure I hadn't mixed up anything, but that's it. I don't want to, him to get involved. Thank you for offering, but I'll speak with Greg myself, if I have to. You're right. First, I need to find the guy with the inhaler. Do you know which grade he's in? Or his name? No, nothing. He's a short mouse with gray fur. He might not have very high self-esteem and he stutters. I can't remember anyone like him, but I'll look for him tomorrow. If you find him, tell me. I'll speak with him myself, okay? Sure. It's great that you were there to help him. I think you would have done the same. Probably. He yawned. Look at the time. Time to go to bed. Are you sure you don't want to wake up to me to make you up tomorrow? No, I'll get up eventually. In that case, good night. Good night. I wanted to think about the day's events a bit, but I wanted to sleep so badly. 
It turned out that the day exhausted me. Probably from seeing so many new places and meeting so many new people. I close my eyes and fall into a dream I can't remember. Notarian time. I guess we can go a little bit further. I mean, usually we go for an hour. Because it do be like that. Yeah. Sometimes. Sorry, big stretch. I woke up before my alarm clock rang and turned it off. God, I'm so smart. I better not forget about in the evening. It's too bright in here. I can't get back to sleep. The bed in front of me looks like nobody's has slept in it. Vincent wakes up really early. Is it a habit? Is there any reason for it? I guess he's just an early bird. Lucky him. Good morning. I didn't expect you to be up early already. Me either. Looks like he was in the bathroom. I had breakfast already, but I can show you where the cafeteria is. It's on the ground floor. Sounds good. So, we went down to the cafeteria. Vince thought that I didn't take enough food, so he gave me some more. Probably it was too much for me, or predictably it was too much for me. I smiled to myself. What a considerate guy. A second classes will start soon. I plan to stare at the back of Samantha's head, hoping that she'll notice me staring right through her skull. Before I get a chance to focus on her head, a Siamese cat I'd seen before walks up to my desk. Hello! I'm the guy that never opens his eyes. Your name is Scott, right? I'm Kevin. Ah, he's a Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. He smiled. Looks like he's having a good morning. You're the first student to transfer here in the middle school year. He took a seat in front of me, so our eyes were at the same level. I don't mind, but Samantha would look so much better there. It's new for me, too. I never changed schools before. Oh, you haven't? I guess it's too early to ask you how you like it there. I like it here just fine. Wait, how I like it here or there? I mean, I make mistakes when I try to do Duolingo. Duolingo. He smiled again, pleased with my answer. Looks like everyone loves this school. Yesterday, Vince told me there was some nasty rumors and I shouldn't believe them. Actually, I want to tell you something. It's this music again. I saw you help that guy yesterday. He was there? I don't remember seeing him there. Why didn't he offer to help? You were very brave. What? You were there? Yes. I wasn't sure if I should interrupt. It didn't look like he needed help. But I went to help. You were faster than me. If it was, and wait, if it was as he said, then it's fine. He could have stood up to them at, with me as well. Why not? Eh, sorry. Read it makes me on. And then Greg came up to you. I was worried. Did you two just talk? You saw that too. Yeah, it was just talk. Good. Greg is not a bad guy. He just has a bad temper. I thought you accidentally bumped into each other, or something like that. Bumped into a bully? What a cliche. But Kevin is worried about me. That's sweet. It's alright. There's no point in blaming Greg now. I'm so glad. It's nice to meet you, Scott. We should chat again some other time. Sure. He left for a seat. He bumped into Samantha, and their eyes meet for a moment. Gosh, I hope they aren't dating. During the break, I know Samantha left her desk again, but this time she wasn't having a chat with a group of girls. She looks like a real people person. Kevin approaches my desk, and takes Samantha's seat again. I don't mind talking with them at all. I wonder if you want to continue our last chat. You live with Vincent? He probably talks a lot about school clubs. He really does, especially during breakfast. You should sign up for one of them too. 
You don't have to, but they're usually pretty fun. Oh, I'm so tired today. Yesterday wasn't a workout day, and I've had coffee all day, but I feel like I'm like, oh, I need stretches. Maybe I'm just thirsty. Maybe I should drink lots of water. I'd like to. I should fill up my spare time. Of course, I'd find a part-time job. But if I only work and study, I'll burn out pretty fast. Yep. I used to play soccer with others, their kids, and, or read a book at home. I like books more than soccer, even though I get lonely sometimes. Let's go then. He left the class in a hurry. I want to call him back because our next lesson will start soon, but I said, decided not to. I need to stretch my legs too. I thought Kevin was long gone, but he stood right outside the door. He led me downstairs to a large bulletin board full of pictures and papers. Look, these are the clubs that they're talking that they're taking new members right now. Actually, none of the clubs can refuse if you ask, but the others are the ones needed but these ones needed people the most. They're in three categories sports, art, and science. I would say they're more intellectual than sciencey because not all of them are about science in the first place. And the separation is quite vague. For example, the cooking club is an art club. But cooking is a hard science man. He's laughing. I didn't get the joke. Cooking is much more of a science than studying UFOs, in my opinion. Wait, his eyes opened. I thought he was joking again, but after looking closely, I saw there is a club like that. You should come here after classes. We can choose something for you. I'm in the chemistry club, if you'd like to join me. He's invited me to his club? That was unexpected. It's strange that he's so interested in me. Maybe it's because I'm a cat like him? We should hurry back. If he was going to ask me to come back here after classes, why did he come here now? I'm not, but there's not much of a reason to ask. After classes, I head over to the bulletin board. Kevin said he had some places, he had some plans, so he didn't come with me. It explains why he brought me here earlier. Vincent had plans of his own too. I'm staring at the board. Swimming? Definitely no. Basketball? Baseball? They have non-sports clubs as well. This journalism club, a photography club. Excuse me, may I look at the board as well? What is up with this 90s saxophone? And here's, I don't know really any saxophone people. This wonderful voice and polite tone. Is it? Samantha! Well, here's the thing. This is a yaoi, right? Yeah, it says genre yaoi. Interesting. Maybe she has a penis. I don't know. It do be like that in furry novels. Okay, now that I said that, I can't think of a single one that has a lady with a penis. I mean, if I looked hard, then maybe. Nope. Can't think of any. Samantha! The board. Sorry! I jumped aside, as if she was going to kill me. Samantha looked at me, surprised. Jeez, I need to relax. She took down one of the adverts. Crap, I didn't catch uh, what club she's interested in. Is it rude to ask her directly? Samantha, can I ask? Before I can finish, Samantha had already disappeared. Where'd she go? Gosh, another opportunity gone to waste. For some reason, everybody's looking at me. What's wrong with me? A teacher who happened to be... A teacher who happened to be told me off for screaming in the hall? Who appeared to be told... It... Yeah, it do be like that, I guess. Wait a minute. I was screaming? Was I that nervous? I feel so ashamed. I hope we didn't scare Samantha. Hmm. I mean, if we were a bit farther into it... Maybe is there like little things I can look at in this thing? Lib, nope. 
Because sometimes in these games, you can look at the images or stuff like that. Like for the smoke room, you can see all the images, but their backgrounds for some reason. Contents, resources, nope. Damn it. I don't think I can just easily look at the images for this game. Hmm. I'm wondering if this is the roots. So like, art club I guess would be the Doberman, science would be the guy with the glasses, and I'd have to assume she would be in sports, right? Can I right click? Boop. Hmm. I might just keep going a little more, but sports clubs. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. What would the main character be? Just let you set my face. Yeah, sometimes it's fine, other times not. Close enough, I guess. What would this twink look like? Hmm, it could be sports, but something twinky. Man, him going to football, he gets squished. He's so small. He's just a little guy. Hmm, maybe photography or art. Was the other scientist right? Biology. Uh, oh, okay. I don't have a good camera, but if I like it, I will save some money for a future part-time job. I opened the door and was surprised. Actually surprised. Samantha was there. Wait, did we luckily land on it or what? Also, what's up with the main character being in the picture here? I think that's the main character. Yep, that's him. Who took a picture of him? I think she's surprised too. Now sure, she was taking off a leaflet taking off a leaflet to for a club. I guess not. I'd like to join this club. Can I? Of course. Please fill out the form. She handed me a piece of paper. I took it carefully, not when to mess it up. It took me a long time to fill it in. I went to write neater than I usually do. Welcome. I smiled modestly and went to the other room. Another room. I sign on the door that says, do not enter. Is that a secret base? It's a dark room. And gasp. Did I say that out loud? I turned toward the voice. A younger student stood there. He looks like a freshman. Sup? Wait, does he have wings? My name is Romano. What's yours? I'm Scott. I'm new to this whole photography thing. Welcome. For now, I can't let you into the dark room. I don't know what you just thought, but we only developed photos there. I guess my face looks strange. I really thought there would have been some secret base in there. Whom isn't used very much nowadays? Everyone's using digital cameras more and more. Sorry, I emphasize that thing just to be funny. Don't you think that going through all the work to prepare and develop photos make those memories that much more important? Uh, it's more inconvenient. Because I was born in... Eh, 1990s, 1980s. I remember photography. You take a whole bunch of pictures, and then you'd have to wait till you use up that film canister, then you bring it to, like, I don't know, HEB or something like that. And then you either pay some for regular processing or extra for quicker processing, and then you go pick it up. And then you put it in an album or something. Yes, perhaps you're right. I think he really likes it. It's good to know that you love what you love at a young age. It is! Mine was titties. A joke. I mean... Anyways. You're doing all this, too? The photo development and all that. Everyone who uses film does. Even the members of the journalism club come to us to develop their photos. Sometimes others come too. 
Romana frowned and pressed his ears to his head. Question mark? He shook his head and grinned. There's something he doesn't want to tell. Pornographic. Maybe it has something to do with yesterday's events? Nah, I think I'm being too paranoid. Um, I do not have my own camera yet, but maybe you can teach me a couple of tricks? Of course. Take this camera here, for example. This button. Ask Romeo about yesterday's guy with the inhaler, but he doesn't know anything. I didn't see Samantha anymore either. She must have slipped out while I was paying attention to Romana. I'm hungry. Should hurry home. Yeah, 50, uh, 45 is a good time limit. Though, let's go back and check out the other places. E. Just to see the people here. He's a dog boy. Husky. Maybe it's just one per thing. Maybe it's not like, hey, there's a whole bunch of people. Football. <sighs> okay. So he doesn't do basketball? You, you mean you tell me this twink can't jump? Okay, so it's all filler. Really? I'm not sure if these are the dateable guys. Chemistry? Biology. Huh. So only maybe three passwords or just filler stuff. Is there anything else I can check out about this game? Oh yeah, and I completely forgot in the beginning. I mean, like, here's the thing. I, when I looked at this thing, it's two hours long and I'm gonna, you know, is the person still active on FA? Yeah, they are. They posted something two days ago. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll probably ask them and be like, hey, is this game still two hours? Because if it is just two hours, I might just do a Let's Play series of it. You know, and it would fill some other... No, let's play series, a side play series. Kind of like, before you depart. Why just continue on? Because it's short and I can just knock it out. Um, but in case I don't, and it actually is longer, if you want me to play this game, tell me. And I'll give it a point, which will put it up higher on the list. Um, and yeah, please comment, because I like comments, damn you like, dislike, tips, etc. Otherwise, if you like me, YouTube, and links, if you're... Then please like, subscribe, and check out the videos. Happy girl, and please remember to your animals to help control the population. And if you want to play this game, um, I guess just look for it on, you know, for Fendi. I'll just uh, copy their name and put it in like the description. I wish I could put links, and I could maybe put links. I just am afraid of YouTube slapping my pee pee, because they did give me a strike on this channel for it's a long time ago, and then. They were about to give it on another video, but I deleted all that stuff, and I was like, and I played with them, and they actually were like, yeah, okay, which was actually surprising. Sure. I guess sometimes some people at YouTube can be actually, you know, agreeable. Oh, yeah. I forgot what is going to be the next van on the list. One, two, three, four... Five, what was that one? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Man, people will suggest so many. And make it big. This will be some random number. Now sixteen. Survey says number thirteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So socially awkward. Which is. Boop. And sorry if it might be a bit loud. I might just turn this down a tad just in case. Boop, boop, boop. 
Boop. Oh, right. Uh, there we go. Socially awkward. This also helps me because I can show it to you guys, but then instead of having to like listen to the last couple of minutes of my video, I can just be like, where's the picture? Here it is. This is what I'm doing next week. Or tomorrow or something like that for me for next week. So, yeah. Comment, spay near your animals. And until next time, let's play. A side play. Quick look. Me, Game of Six. Uh, some of the game. That means socially awkward. So thanks and see ya.